All right, man, we back. Good for Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. We're going to talk about Blueface and J Block JB in a minute. But first, the video surface of King Von um, basically punching, I guess, his rival rapper, Rondo, Rondo, I think, whatever his name is. Let's talk about that, man. Perp, well, he he walked up to King Von after they got out the club. Like he got out the truck or van or something, and he punched him. And, you know, Rondo, that Quando, Rondo dude, he spent the way and guess he didn't want to fight back and one of his homeboys or all of them start blasting their guns and the rondo kid is basically telling people that his boy gonna get off because king vaughn initiated the contact when he punched him in the face and my whole thing is uh he punched you he ain't pistol whip you or he didn't shoot at you he took it old school and basically what happened was they pulled the straps you know and that's what you got to understand pimp c said this a long time ago keep your pistol Forget a fight. I ain't trying to cuss no more on here. He's, you know, keep a pistol. Forget a fight. You know, these dudes, you know, they don't fight no more for real. And we talking about, he said that early 2000s. Now we in 2020. These dudes don't know how to knuckle up and fight no more. So what they did was grab their pistols and start shooting. And to me, they could have just scrapped it out one on one. You know, and then that's the, that's the real gentleman's uh, uh, game is, you know, a gentleman's sports putting your fists up and fighting. It wasn't like he didn't. He walked right up to him. Like, what be killing me is these dudes when people walking up to you. They ain't put the them put the dukes up. They be just standing here like this. Like he ain't about to just punch you. Somebody get out the van or car, and they walk up to you talking. You better be able to. He should have been prepared to punch first. But these dudes can't fight no more. They don't fight no more. So you best off just shooting first and asking questions last. You know. And he punched him. Sent my man spinning. He basically kind of tried to gather himself, and they, and I'm guessing what happened after that was they started shooting. You know, the King Von, you know, basically make his own bit. Absolutely. When you walk up to somebody and punch them today, you got to know your audience. You got to know your ops. And what that dude was, he didn't want to get embarrassed on social media. He didn't want to be seen getting beat up one on one because it wasn't like three or four of them walked up to him and started beating on him. This dude got out and did the business himself. He could have had one of the goons. You know, smack him up, but he went old school and handled himself. And they should have been able to, to, to punch it out, you know, fight it out. You know, but then again, you don't you don't you don't expect the energy that you give out to get back. And the energy he gave in was let's fight it out. And the energy he got back was we're gonna shoot it out because we ain't we ain't gonna fight. We can't fight, we ain't gonna fight. So to me personally, it's sad. But then again, it's the rap game. No other genre you get this in. No other genre. You you only get this in the rap game where these dudes want to, you know, they want to shoot, they want to be gangster, they want, they, you know, you know, when a lot of people know, it's a lot of studio gangsters. It's a lot of studio gangsters that have been rapping about selling pounds and keys, and they ain't never touched a pound and key of being a gangster holding the Mac or the tech. Now, they ain't never held that. And, you know, I mean, it's what it is, man. But, um, but yeah, man, apparently Blueface is uh, basically put his mansion up on Airbnb. And we know that's getting bad for the rappers out here and entertainers in general that they can no longer do shows and a lot of people they can't do videos record music right now some of them some of them have begun back to done that again and basically they seeing their blue face going broke because he looking to he listed his house his mansion on airbnb airbnb for 2400 a night and they got like three or four bathrooms bedrooms and all this type of stuff but you know it's hard out here when you can't rap or you can't drop music or when you drop music it don't do well because a lot of these dudes make club music. Once you sit at home and you listen to the record, it don't sound the same. Everything sounds better with chicken wings and liquor and strippers dancing and people dancing. Especially on the type of uh, speakers that the DJs be having. You know, so a lot of these dudes make stripper songs and they make club songs and stripper rap. And right now, that ain't selling because the strip clubs ain't open in certain places. So now your song coming on the radio, people listen to it while they working out and it don't have the same effect. So, you know, he listening his house up there. That's his personal business. And, you know, people going to be saying he going broke this, that, and the third. I can see if he was selling the house or he lost the house, excuse me, you know, property taxes or, you know, couldn't make the mortgage payments. But he got all that jewelry around. And what he find out real fast and quick is jewelry, de jewelry depreciate real, real fast unless it's solid gold. But that is what it is. And then we're going to end it off with Black Boy JB. He basically said PlayStation was for the gays. And um, he did an interview. They took it down. But he said it's for the gay people. He said they got pride colors. Check it out. I don't know what he's talking about pride colors. But I thought it was a rainbow. I don't know PlayStation having rainbow colors. The new one is white and black and blue. But he said the real street dudes play Xbox. 
And he clarified. He said, I'm not saying that gay people can't play Xbox, but he was trying to make a joke and people took a literal. Everybody is politically correct. You know, it's basically saying like, you know, PlayStation dudes, you know, this meme saying they need girls to buy their, uh, need girls to buy their PlayStation while Xbox dudes can play, play for them themselves. But people take stuff too literal, too politically correct, all this stuff. So, of course, he's going to get some backlash and this, that, and the third. And he probably got to come out and apologize if you haven't. But if you say, you call a black person a slur, oh, you, you guys are just too sensitive. He Billy was just playing. That's what they're going to be saying, man. And that's just the way it's really rolling out these days. So, you know, it is what it is, man. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, private response, video request. All my social media links are in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group. Hit me up. You guys want to advertise on the channel. Got some good rates. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash app CJ Good 313 uh, That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Check out our music entertainment playlist. Appreciate the love and support. We gone.